Guys, I'm pretty sure that this is a carbon copy of Contingency Contract, but then again, like, how can we complain, right? It's just inspired, you know? Alchemy Stars just heavily derives inspiration from Arknights. But seriously, I think this is a good thing because we're going to be getting a whole variety of different kinds of events. Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about the new endgame content release, the announcement details. There is quite a lot going on here. There are a lot of things that are, well, we kind of expect and then there are a few things that we didn't expect so much. There are a few things that I think people were looking out for that we're not going to be getting. Um, let's talk about that later. But as always, before we get into the video, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. And so what I'm talking about is the Jane's notes over here. And so if you guys are not up to date with the redeem codes, we've got Whiplash and then we've got Manticore Brooch. So I think I haven't done that second one yet. So guys, let me just redeem that one real quick uh, events. And so let's try out the Manticore Brooch, I believe. And I believe there's one more called Ocean, which I haven't redeemed. Actually, let's try ocean right now. Just ocean. Redeem now. Confirm. And wow, it actually worked. Okay. Ocean worked. So ocean, that is another one. Manticore Rooch. It didn't have a space in it, but I suspect it might have a space. Yeah, okay. Let's try a space in there. Manticore Rooch. And then redeem successful. And then the last one was uh, Whiplash, which I had actually already gotten. So Whiplash, and it should say that it's already been redeemed. Yep. Okay. So today I've got three for you. We've got Whiplash, we've got Manticore Brooch, and we've got Ocean. All right, let's have a look at what they actually give. So surprise me, my dudes. Uh, okay. A lot of, um, what is it? <laughs> what are they called? Jaspers. Nice. And then what do we have from the other one? This one is... Whoa, that is a nice one. I'm pretty sure this is Ocean, but I don't know why I thought of Ocean. I'm pretty sure I saw it on Discord somewhere, but I just can't remember like seeing it in Jane's notes or anything. Anyway, those are your three codes. And so without further ado, let's jump into the video itself. Okay, I know why it's Ocean now. It's because like, look at all this, this spam, this Twitter spam, it's all Ocean. And so to get Ocean, what you had to do was take all of the missing letters and then work out what the word was. So yeah, that's our one pull, hell yeah. All right, for realsies, back to the end game announcement. So guys, we have a whole bunch of information that they have just dumped on us. And so let's have a look at each one of these. I think a lot of them you guys already know, they kind of like double up talking about the information, but this is like the overview. And so this one is saying like, oh, we've got a whole bunch of different stuff, including like the end game challenges end game score reward system. We've got the myth event storyline. We've got the Aurorian trials. This is just kind of like the summary of everything that's going to be going on. However, the stages are going to be staggered. And I think this is a great approach. So this is a very similar approach to what Genshin Impact does. And so there are six sets of end game challenge stages and the stages will be unlocked every day one after another from 9th September to 14th of September. And then after the stages are unlocked, feel free to explore and challenge them within the event period. So the event period is actually from the 9th of September up until the 27th of September. However, it is going to take like five days to unlock. So that means that we have about three weeks, no, sorry, 13 days after like the last one unlocks to complete it. And the reason that I'm a really big fan of this model is because like it, there's no real sense of urgency. And like the other way that they could have done it is like, like, okay, we're going to be doing these six end game challenge stages and they have to be done on the day, right? So they're going to rotate out every day. So some other games like Arknights, Contingency, Contract, Daily stages, they do that and that's really, really annoying. And so therefore, if you missed it, you've missed it. However, this is Alchemy Stars. And again, Alchemy Stars has done another good thing. So that's another tick in my book for them. Anyway, moving on, each of the first five sets of end game challenges consists of four normal stages and one boss stage. The boss stage of each set will only be unlocked once the four normal stages have been successful fully cleared. Okay, that's that, that makes a lot of sense. This kind of sounds like it's going to be like the even since model where you have like those three uh, in the hard mode and the challenge mode. So you do like three stages and then you unlock the boss one in the middle and then you can go challenge it. So I suspect it's not going to be like a sequential thing, but like otherwise it doesn't really matter because you're going to be clearing it all anyway. And then lastly, we have the sixth set consists of only one final boss stage, which is the desolate monarch. So that's pretty cool. I, I don't know guys, like I've loved this whole theme. I've loved the uh, like the atmosphere. I love like, I've loved this entire event to be honest again remember back to like when we did predictions for summer event i was like oh yeah we're gonna be fighting like a squid or a whale or something nah we're fighting robots and we're fighting freaking chess pieces like who freaking would have thought hey anyway moving on as usual we have two days of claiming period extra so let's go down here and then number two challenge normal stages and aurorian trials for lou member okay so before i go in further into any of this i think somebody has calculated in my discord and so that is another plug for the discord if you guys have
have not joined the Discord yet, the link is down in the description below. Anyway, one of the homeboys have counted up all of the Luma Ember that we get from this entire endgame phase, and it equals up to 4.3 thousand Luma Ember. Honestly, guys, that is so nutty. Like, <laughs> this game seriously cannot get any better. All right, moving on. So we've got three, which is select your difficulty and endgame strategies to customize each challenge. So this is kind of like that contingency contract thing that we've spoken about like one or two months ago. Ever since they've dropped endgame and like some of the mechanics or the wording behind it, it's like, it heavily alludes to like, uh, how do I say, I'm going to stop saying contingency contract because I definitely respect that not everybody plays Arknights. And so essentially the interpretation of like contingency contract or like this kind of game mode is, it's essentially like you're taking a whole bunch of risk to make the stage harder, but you're going to get more rewards for it. So for example, maybe the enemies are going to have like plus 100% HP, or maybe they're going to do like 50% more damage to you. Or maybe your units like lose 50% attack. Maybe like your detonators don't work anymore. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually going to come true. But what I will say is that floating around in the community are a bunch of the different tags of like possible tags that could be applied to this game mode. Anyway, that's like essentially this one in a nutshell. And so like, let's have a look down here. So clearing stages will earn you end game points. And so as we get more and more of these points, we can actually claim the corresponding rewards based on how many points we have. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting, right? Because like in other games, like Ark Knight, it's like contingency contract. It's a very similar concept, right? Like where we can take a risk level of up to like 18 to get like the full rewards. However, a lot of people like take more and more and more risk. And that's kind of like the end game for Ark Knights. I don't know if it's going to be reflected here. And what I mean by that is that it says rewards are divided into 42 tiers. So what I'm really hoping is that they're going to adopt a similar model. And what I mean by that is that you don't have to clear like the hardest difficulty to be able to get all of the rewards. And this separation or this distinction is really important, right? Because you want the majority of the community or of your players to be able to finish like well at least not finish like to the hardest difficulty but to at least earn all of the rewards but then you also want to give the whales or the madmen like that challenge that extra bit of challenge where they can like go all the way up to like maybe like 40 tags or something right but yeah there's my thoughts on it this 2k is part of that 4.3k and then we've got the legendary aurorian breakthrough materials and probably like ascension materials you guys already know what it is however i am eyeing that limited edition avatar and furniture mm, music to my ears all right moving on let's have a look unlock the end game myth event storyline so this is essentially just like viewing the stories right this one is probably the most straightforward one like we watch the story and we get some loom ember and uh, wait a second the available rewards include 400 loom ember i think this is probably uh in total so don't expect like 400 loom ember times seven yeah, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, moving on, we've got the limited time sign in event. So just another one of these bad boys. I do see that recharger pack over there. And so actually on that note, I want to show you guys something real quick. Guys, I'm not saying I'm a hoarder, but like I'm kind of saying that I'm a hoarder. <laughs> 67 of these recharger packs. One day I'm going to hit 999 of these bad boys. However, today we are going to be talking about endgame. And so let's get back to it. And so again, we're just going to be getting a whole bunch of items over here. It looks like we're getting Jasper, Nitium, Lumeba. It's all like very, very, similar to the other ones. However, we are getting Caroline's Smile, which is an exclusive event avatar, and I do believe that they show you in one of the next images, but it doesn't look like we're there yet, and so what we have here is the new Aurorian, Smokey and Genevieve. If you guys have not watched my Smokey video, like my Smokey prediction, like, go watch it. But essentially, I guess that Smokey was a converter, but not only was she a converter, she is also going to be a teleporter. And so I think that's great because Fire's only weakness was that there was no teleport available. And so with both Smokey and Genevieve revealed as teleporters, that's actually going to be so big. I don't know about you guys, but I think Smokey is hella fine. Like, to be honest, every single character that they have released so far has been so freaking awesome. I seriously just cannot save gems in this freaking game, man. I want to roll. I have rolled, actually, on every single banner. But either way, we've got Smokey coming in. You guys already know what it is. It's the 50-50, and there is no hard pity. Like, come on, tour dog. Come on, man. Please. Just do it. All right, but that's it for that one. And then, so we've got the Smokey and Genevieve. We'll enter the mainstay recruitment pool. You guys already know what it is, right? Like, so uh, I think after that, yeah, here we go. We've got Beryl and Flo entering into the mainstay banner uh, after their banners end. So yeah, that's kind of it. All right, and so I think we're on to the last one. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So obtaining exclusive event furniture. So I believe uh, this one over here is the avatar or the icon that we were just talking about. The one from the login event. So I believe it's this one down here, Caroline Smile. I think it's this one here. However, we've got some awesome other event furniture here. Oh, I don't know why, but these three items over here, they remind me of Splatoon. So if you guys don't know what Splatoon's is, let me have a, let me show you guys real quick. Um, it's, I think it's because of the color scheme, right? It's, 
it's just like really fluoro and stuff so yeah anyway we've got the exclusive furniture coming along so we've got uh oh we've got two exclusive avatars okay so caroline's smile and monarch's gaze oh gosh okay they both sound like they could be either one but yeah i'm gonna guess that caroline's is this one actually and then the monarch's gaze is this one over here anyway so moving on we've got the inflatable sofa fountain spray it's got to be this one over here and then we've got the fireworks inflatable sofa and then bubbly inflatable sofa fireworks has got to be this one and this is probably the bubbly one then and then lastly but probably my favorite one is the void castle model like look at that that is so freaking cool. Like I said, the aesthetic of this entire event has been so freaking sick. And so hopefully you guys are going to find some space in your Colossus for these bad boys. And well, actually everyone should already be at 10K of that happiness mood thing. Anyway, moving on, I believe this is the last one. So this is really cool. We've got the bonus content preview. And so essentially over five days, and these five days are going to be so packed because like that's when everything is happening. But from 9th of September till 14th of September, and that's holy crap, that's like in 24 hours time. We're going to be getting a whole bunch of prism 120 prism so uh, uh totaling 720 prism over six days uh okay so this one down here is a little bit misleading and i don't think it's their fault i think they just like didn't represent it that well and the thing is when i read this i thought we were getting like 120 prism twice a day right at 11 and at 600 however they have made it very clear that we are getting 720 prism over six days and so i then noticed that there is a utc plus zero and then a utc minus five over here so yeah just do your time zone conversion and you can account for this one over here and this is going to be so useful especially because i know a lot of you are probably at like stage two or stage three of the next legendary aurorian me myself i'm still on stage one because i've been hoarding those recharger packs but like yeah and so i think this one is gonna like really help because it's gonna chunk out a lot of that prism requirement so hopefully you guys on stage three will appreciate this one because i do know that that is the limiter however the spiciest part of this announcement but probably the most ambiguous is the 100 day milestone so essentially they're like yay happy 100 day anniversary and then they have prepared a special gift for each and every navigator for more details please pay attention to in-game announcements blah 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 i suspect and this is just another one of my crappy conspiracy theory speculations but i think it's going to be an icon like an avatar and some lumamba and then we're going to have a variety of like the other gifts but like i think the two key ones are going to be the avatar again and the lumamba as for how much you know what what? let's let's take a bet let's do a bet i'm gonna bet that for the 100 day milestone it's gonna be 1k lumamba no i'm gonna say 3k lumamba for a lot of other games like 1k lumamba is probably what i would guess however with tour dogs like current track record of generosity I think 3k is not out of the question. And so there's my guess. However, it looks like we've actually reached the end of the content for today. And so let's start getting into the secret message. That's a great segue, right? And so really, it's not a secret message. It's a secret question. I do want to hear what you guys think this 100 day milestone or like what they have prepared for us. Like, I want to hear your thoughts on it. What is your bet on it? Do you reckon it's going to be 1k Lumamba? Do you reckon it's going to be 3k Lumamba? Do you think it's going to be no Lumamba? Do you reckon we'll get an avatar? Do you reckon we'll get a skin? Do you reckon we'll get just a whole bunch of ascension materials and so whatever your guess might be i would really appreciate it if you would drop that down into the comments below because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but otherwise please consider a like a sub a comment a follow you guys already know what it is there are a few ways to support the channel down in the description below membership thing affiliate links however as Caroline once said, all good things must come to an end. Actually, she probably did say that, huh? But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.